Okay, I am really going to do this. Good luck, Michael. You know what? I need my girls with me. Pam, Karen, even Phyllis. Come on, let's do this. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, remember, be strong. I love you guys. No, I'm getting your voicemail. Don't leave him. Hey, Jan, it's me, Michael. I'm just calling to say that I think we need a little break permanently. And uh, I know everybody says this, but I, I want to remain friends or at least business associates who get along. Oh, just so you know, it's not me, it's you. Okay, buddy, somebody just walked in. I have to go, um, so I'll talk to you later. Michael, <clears throat> I, was, um, I was really unhappy with our conversation earlier, and I, I just I, I couldn't stop thinking about it, so I decided that I would drive down here and apologize to you in person. So. I'm sorry. Thank you. So, we're good? I have some fruit, Lenny. Oh, hold on, sorry. No. no. One second. From you. Uh, you hey, want to grab Dan, some dinner? It's me, Michael. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. calling to say that I think we need a little break permanently. And uh, I know everybody says this, but I. Maybe some Italian. Any man who says he totally understands women is a fool because they are ununderstandable. There's a wishing fountain at the mall and I threw a coin in for every woman in the world and made a wish. I wished for Jan to get over me. I wished for Phyllis a plasma TV. I wished for Pam to gain courage. I wished for Angela a heart and for Kelly a brain. Michael, how can you appreciate women so much, but also dump one of them? You mean, how can I be so illogical and flighty and unpredictable and emotional? Well, maybe I learned something from women after all. <laughs>